Hi everybody, I hope you're all safe and well. Today's story is called Yoga Bunny and it was written by Brian Russo. And Yoga Bunny is about a bunny who uses yoga poses to help get him into a calm and happy place. Now, Bunny tries to get his friends to come along with him and do some yoga poses, but they are just not interested at least not in the beginning. So let's read and find out what happens. Are you ready? Okay. One morning, Bunny crawled out of his hole and he rubbed his eyes and he let out a big yawn. This is a perfect morning to do yoga, he said. And you can see Bunny is happy and he's stretching. Bunny dropped his head in his arms down toward his feet, coming into a forward fold. And you can see now he's totally bent over. Just then, Lizard came walking by. Oh, one of his friends are visiting. said Bunny. Would you like to do yoga with me? I hate everything about mornings. I wish I could go back to bed, Lizard replied angrily. And with that, Lizard stomped away. Well, sounds like Lizard's a little cranky. But let's see how Bunny handles it. Bunny was disappointed, but he took a deep breath and he placed his hands on the ground and he stepped backwards and he lifted his hips high up in the air, coming into a downward dog. So Bunny didn't get angry, even though he was disappointed and he continued to do his yoga. His friend Fox came running by. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Ooh, Fox is in a rush. He was moving so fast that he startled Bunny. Out of my way, Bunny, he said. I'm in a very big rush. Well, maybe you should take a minute and do this yoga pose with me, Bunny suggested. It might help you slow down. No thanks, Fox replied. I'd rather be in a big rush than do something so silly. And he hurried away. Hmm. Let's see what Bunny says to that. Bunny felt a little sad, but he took a deep breath and he stood up tall and he placed his hands in front of his heart and he balanced on one foot coming into the tree pose. Okay, so even though Bunny was sad because he really wanted Fox to do yoga poses with him, he just stayed focused on what was important. Just then, Bird came, flew, flew down, landing right on Bunny's head. I have a bad case of the hiccups, and I've tried everything to stop them, said Bird. Poor little bird. Well, Bunny said, maybe you can do this tree pose with me. It can calm you down and that might help you with your... <laughs> no way, Bird said. I'd rather live with these hiccups than stand on one leg. And with that, Bird flew away. Oh, let's see what Bunny says. Well, Anyone ever want to do yoga with me? Bunny wondered aloud. But then he reminded himself that doing yoga alone is better than not doing yoga at all. Just as Bunny took a deep breath and he stepped back and bent his front leg and reached his arms way up coming into the warrior pose, two little mice came walking by. What do you think he's reaching for? whispered one of the mice. 
I don't know, but it must be very valuable. We'd better reach for it too. <laughs> So look at the two mice. And so the mice stepped back and they bent their front legs and they reached their arms way up, coming into warrior pose, just like Bunny. And as they had their arms stretched way up and their eyes towards the sky, they noticed bird flying by. Bird still had the hiccups but he came down to join them, pressing his wings together in front of his heart, lifting up one leg, coming into tree pose, just like Bunny and the mice. And then all of a sudden, they heard a loud noise. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh my goodness, guess who it is? Fox. Fox came hurrying by and he saw the friends standing in a circle and he pressed his hands to the ground and he stepped back and he lifted up his hips coming into the downward dog just like Bunny and the mice and the bird. Oh my goodness, now they're all doing yoga. They look so calm. Bunny took a deep breath and lay down flat on his back coming into resting pose. And when Lizard came walking back and lay down just like Bunny did. Wow, they all found yoga to be helpful. Bunny was so happy that his friends had joined him that he opened up his mouth and he let out a big um. And everyone else did the same thing. Um. Wow, boys and girls, look at all of the animals. They finally have figured out that Bunny was right. Yoga is very helpful. I know where I'm supposed to be, said Fox. Not so angry anymore. It's here. Thank you, Yoga Bunny. Oh my goodness. That is such a sweet story. And you know, boys and girls, I think... We all have times where we get disappointed or maybe sad that our friends don't want to join along with us in something that we're doing. But what I love about Bunny was he didn't lose his temper. He just stayed focused on what he thought was important and he was showing his friends, not just telling his friends what he wanted to do, and he was showing them how yoga could be helpful. And eventually, they all chose to do yoga with him. I hope you enjoyed our story today and maybe we should go outside and get some fresh air and stretch and enjoy this beautiful day. Until next time, boys and girls, have a great day. See you.